Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to cheese the boss Simon Manus, the Arm of God in Lies of P. Now this is the second last boss in the game, throwing items will be your best friend here. Now my strategy when it comes to this is to throw a bunch of the fire to set up fire damage on it and then switch to the saw blades to get a bit of that continual damage and it's going to shred the first health bar down relatively quickly because you want to keep your specter alive as much as possible for this boss fight. So. Throwing all your items there will allow you to get a lot of damage in. Now this is in New Game Plus, and I did beat Simon Manus without the patch, which makes him a lot easier. But as I said, save your throwing items, and in the second phase, you're gonna have a chance to maybe get some attacks in before your specter dies. But I found the acid attack does pretty good. He's he's immune to electricity from what I've noticed. So you're gonna have to use acid damage, but we already got him down to half health and this phase has just begun. Now it does get a lot harder here because this is a very challenging final boss. I recommend trying to keep your specter alive as best as possible. And also for grindstone, I like to use the perfect parry for some of these because it does make it a lot easier. So I used it there and almost got killed by disruption, but we're going to ignore that fact there. Some of his attacks are better just to dodge, but some of them you can block relatively easily, so I like doing that. Now, you're going to want to try and hold off on your heals until this phase if possible. That's why the Spectre comes in handy so much. Dodging his attacks is kind of annoying. He'll do that one where he throws his hand up and then those light beams come out of the sky and you have to be mindful to keep moving during it or else you'll get KO'd relatively quick and easy. But uh, this last quarter of his health bar is where things get really difficult because he's going to be calling in all of these attacks and you just have to run sometimes since that hand attack will pretty much insta-kill you, especially on New Game Plus where his attacks hit much heavier. So we don't have any throwing items, so it kind of sucks. It'd be nice to be able to toss something at him there, but uh, I didn't unlock the extra belt to be able to throw a few more things at him at this point. But with this fight at that very end, you want to try and play a bit more defensive, but just keep in mind that some of his attacks will do massive amounts of damage. So defensive, but also have a good offense on you. So keeping to more so the backside of my fine works best and more to the right as well since he swings that mallet from the left and it comes downwards i've been able to dodge some with the two dragon sword here i find this weapon to work really good against this boss so the reason i find it works pretty well is when you attack you also move head heads up though with that wave attack he does block it you can perfect block it fairly easily i was just a little dumb there and got hit by it but yeah, the last quarter of his health is going to be difficult once you don't have any throwables left because he is quite a challenge of a fight and especially so in New Game Plus where his attacks just seem to do so much more damage. Now, the best strategy is to keep moving and stay out of the way of all those light beams. You might even want some items to reduce the disruption. I luckily didn't get hit too bad with it this time around, but in my first playthrough it was quite rough. So we got his health down to a little sliver now and it's just wailing on him till the end. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.